You are going to see a visitation of the glory of the Lord. He showed me in the sky and I saw the glory of the Lord in the sky but they were in clusters and then I asked him Lord what is this and then he said coming down there I looked up again and then the voice said again. He said, this is coming down there.
Wow, 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 wow. This is the presence of the Lord. This is the presence of the Lord. We love you, Jesus. We give you honor. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Look at how the environment now looks. Just look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Ona vile nende kio bright. Umona. Ona nende kio bright. These are the days of Elijah. The days of the Lord. Hallelujah! Wow, 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 wow. The Lord is here. Hey, nende kio bright, kabisa. Wow, 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 this is the... Look at that, 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 look at that. Wow, 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 Lord, we thank you. Thank you for honoring the words of your servant. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at the glory of the Lord. This is the beauty of God. Umone yo wimbo. Hey boy. Eh ona. Ona ebo angalia ile wimbo. Angalia wimbo. Si niko na ichukua hiyo video. Eh. Hebu yangalie kwa kamera ndio naiona vizuri. Sasa njao. Eh. Kitu yangalie kwa kamera ndio naiona vizuri. Hai. Hebu look at this thing vizuri. Hebu look at this thing vizuri. Angalia mzuri hata mimi ndio nimeona. Eh ni kama kuna mtu kwa hiyo ni. Hebu. Hebu. Kujeni, ona, ona hii. Look at this thing well. Angalia. Look at this thing well. Aya. Baezeki ni nakuja mbuli sana. Suwa li. Eh, ni kwili. Unaona panda hii, panda hii. Ebu, umeiti, unaiti record. Sindiyo?
Anyway. disease that is going to visit the what? I see a severe form of skin disease. It looks more like leprosy coming to the earth. It's very, very scary because that disease is very infectious. The Lord already put me in that day I already saw people running, grappling with that disease. Anyone touching that disease, greeting your hand, 
you are infected and it grows over the bodies of the people of the earth that are infected. It was the most disturbing dream. Whoever touches the door of a car with it, I saw people touching the doors of cars and they getting infected, greeting by hand, they were infected. It was very, very infectious in this mighty conversation. So this disease is going to be extremely infectious and it's going to be most disturbing. It's very unsightly to look at. organization says the death toll from an outbreak of Ebola in West Africa has now risen to at least 3,000 out of more than 6,000 probable suspected and confirmed cases. The latest data shows Liberia has recorded 1,800 deaths. That's around three times as many as the other two most affected countries, Guinea and Sierra Leone. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund has approved the equivalent of 100 million euros in aid to help the three countries deal with the economic impact of the outbreak. Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf has declared a state of emergency as the country grapples with an outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus. Speaking on national television, she said some civil liberties might have to be suspended. The Ebola outbreak has also hit Guinea. Sierra Leone and Nigeria, killing more than 930 people. World Health Organization, who, experts are meeting in Geneva, Switzerland, to discuss a response to the outbreak. Ebola, a viral hemorrhagic fever, is one of the deadliest diseases known to humans, with a fatality rate of between 55% and 90%. It is spread through contact with the bodily fluids of Ebola patients showing symptoms. Of the Brazilians. Ele me levou nas casas dos brasileiros. And I see a lot of insects. I see a lot of billions of insects. Ele, eu, eu, trilhões. Eu vi trilhões de insectos. A lot of insects. Muitos insectos. Many, many, many in the light, all over, biting. Muitos insectos até nas luzes e a morderem as pessoas. I see a lot of insects. Fill your homes and biting you people. Eu vejo I, I, I struggled very much in that dream. Eu vejo muitos insectos que entraram em vossas casas, invadiram e a morder todos os Some of them are walking in millions on the walls like this. Alguns estão a, a subir Columna, nas paredes, columns. em colunas, milhões de insectos. I see the judgment of the Lord coming to this nation. Eu vejo o julgamento do Senhor que está vindo para essa nação. I see so many insects biting me in these homes. Eu vejo muitos insectos que estão a morder os homens nas casas. I've seen
seen what is coming to Brazil. E eu vi o que está vindo ao Brasil. The Lord, when I was in Rio, the Lord showed me this dream. Quando eu estava no Rio, o Senhor me mostrou esse sonho. He took me to the homes of the Brazilians. Ele me levou em todas as casas dos brasileiros. And then a lot of insects. E havia muitos montão de insetos. In millions and millions and millions. Em milhões, milhões e milhões. I see them biting me. Eu lhes vi a me morderem. In the homes of the Brazilians. Nas casas dos brasileiros. So many insects, some were walking in large columns, going like this, like this. Tanto insecto, alguns estavam a andar nas paredes em grandes colunas. I see so many insects biting me. Eu vejo muitos insectos que estavam a me morder. In Brazil. No Brasil. They are biting me. Estão a me morder. So many insects. Muitos insectos. I see them biting me. Eu vejo eles a me morder. As many as 1.5 million Brazilians may have been infected with the mosquito-borne Zika virus. And now, the U.S. and other countries are also reporting new cases. But it does pose a threat to pregnant women. Zika virus appears to have a particular ability to cause a birth defects um, when um, the baby is born to a mother that was infected during pregnancy. The birth defect, called microcephaly, causes babies to be born with undersized brains and skulls a condition that can lead to serious development problems. Brazil has the largest outbreak of Zika ever recorded. Its health ministry has reported at least 3,800 suspected cases of Zika-related microcephaly since October 2015. The main concern about the Zika virus is that it has been linked to a rare neurological condition called microcephaly. Babies are born with abnormally small heads. Authorities in Brazil have reported nearly 4,000 cases of microcephaly tied to the Zika virus. And now the World Health Organization says the Zika virus will likely spread throughout South, Central and North America. In the Central American nation of El Salvador, health authorities have already reported more than 3,800 cases of the Zika virus. Por eso es que estamos nosotros recomendando... The Salvadoran Vice Minister of Health took the unusual step of recommending that women avoid getting pregnant for the next two years. So far, 21 countries and territories in the Americas have reported cases of the virus, including Brazil, with as many as 1.5 million cases. We are following developing health news at this hour. The usually cautious World Health Organization is now using alarming language to describe the Zika virus. Today, the WHO said the virus is, quote, spreading explosively across the Americas. It's already been found in several people in the United States, including New York and Los Angeles. Margaret Chan of the WHO telling member countries today, quote, the level of alarm is extremely high, as is the level of uncertainty. Questions abound. We need to get some answers quickly. The Lord, he took my hand, my prophetic hand, then from heaven he handed me over the rod of God, the rod of Moses. And then the voice of the Lord laughed. And he said, ha ha, you must now use it. Look, you have used it before. Look, it is in your hand, now you must use it. Listen to me, the Caribbean." Listen to me, the islands and the nations of the Caribbean, the Central America. I have warned you before, but now the fullness of time has come tonight. I have held the rod of God in my hand, the rod of Moses. And now I strike you with the judgment of the Lord.
In Barbuda, houses underwater, cars floating through the streets. Among the dead, a two-year-old killed while a family was trying to escape. Most of the island left uninhabitable. The Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, yesterday, the 10th of April, the year 2016, he spoke with me about a very important and fearful event that is coming to this land. And uh, I remember too well that when I saw a lot of blackmail on the Kenyan media, I remember asking the Lord, why? Why would Kenya try to blackmail your servant because of such blackmail to this ancient prophet and this ancient God and his prophet? I said, one day I will ask the Lord to teach this land a lasting lesson. To split the land with a fault line like this. A straight fault line. I was so amazed yesterday when the Lord answered me. And in that dream, this is what I saw. I saw an earthquake hit this land. It was a straight fault line. And half the other side of the fault line sunk. This is the prophecy I'm giving on this day, on 11th of April, the year 2016, that now the Lord has answered my request to split the land with a fault line like this, a straight fault line, to teach this nation that the ancient, old, holy prophet of the Lord is in this land. Is walking this land. And that no mere mortal, nobody created by Jehovah can raise themselves and try to blackmail and defame God. Especially when all that the Lord ever did was to send me to bless this nation to return to righteousness, to, to stop corruption, go back to holiness, and to bring their healing now I'm giving a prophecy on this day that now this nation shall fear this prophet and his God Jehovah. I saw an earthquake hit this land. It was a straight fault line 
and half the other side of the fault line sunk to teach this land a lasting lesson to split the land with a fault line like this a straight fault line when these things come to pass then the Lord and his servant will be feared in this land Shalom massive crack in the ground that's estimated to be up to 50 feet deep has opened up in Kenya seemingly overnight. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley and many scientists believe it could end up splitting the continent apart. A huge crack that has suddenly appeared in Kenya tree more than 50 feet wide and running for several kilometers. The large, deep split occurred this week at Kenya's Rift Valley. A massive crack that's up to 50 feet deep suddenly opened up in the ground in Africa. It's already 65 feet wide in some places and growing. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley. Many scientists believe it could end up breaking Africa's continent apart. The fissures tore apart a busy road and the government has had to intervene, desperately trying to fill the chasm with rocks and cement. Imagine waking up one morning to find a massive crack running through your home. That's what happened to Elliot in Jaguna, forced to dismantle his house by hand before it was lost to the earth below. He lives in Mai Mahu, part of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, a region that has already provided a treasure trove of some of the most important archaeological finds in history. And this latest discovery is so significant, scientists predict it will be the fault line along which history is made once again as Africa splits into two continents. And joining me now from Johannesburg is CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata. She's going to talk to us a little bit about this split. So, Deborah, this giant crack in the earth opened up uh, in what seems like a matter of days. Can you give us an idea of how large it is and what geologists say may have caused it? It's quite phenomenal, really, Vlad. I mean, it's about 50 feet deep and 60 feet wide. I mean, imagine something like that just suddenly appearing. What well, we've seen um, some people who literally woke up 
to see a giant crack in their home. Can you imagine waking up to something like that? One man said that he started screaming and tried to grab as many belongings as he could and actually physically dismantled his home by hand as quickly as possible before it could be sort of sucked in by this giant um, crack that had appeared there. The crack in Kenya sits along the 3,700-mile-long East African Rift. As this movement continues over the next 50 million years, a large chunk of the continent will eventually split off, creating an island that will consist of parts of several African nations. A two-kilometer fault line has cut across farms, sparking fears among residents of Mwandabi area on the outskirts of Naivasha town, Nakuru County. At least 16 families have moved to safe grounds after some of their crops sank and were swallowed in the phenomenon that started on Monday. Several acres of Irish potatoes, wheat, beans and maize are feared to have been destroyed by the giant crack that was filled with water overnight. It was not immediately clear where the water came from. Local government officials asked locals to move to safe grounds as geologists and experts investigated the cause of the huge fissure. The crack is similar to the one that cut across sections of Maimaki weeks ago. Naivasha Assistant County Commissioner Joseph Aponto on Tuesday urged affected families to be cautious.
Lord lifted me up above Israel and showed me the state of Israel, the nation of Israel. And he showed me all the borders of the state of Israel. And then Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Olam, the God of Israel, he showed me the heavenly hosts that were released. And they stood on the borders of Israel. Every place where there is a border, there was like this, a lot of heavenly hosts. They were standing to guard Israel. They stood on every inch of the border of Israel, from north to south, and they were moving. There was a movement. It was not just standing. They were moving. They were moving back and forth, back and forth by the borders of Israel. They were moving with flaming swords. And then the voice of the Lord said, Then they shall fear the God of Israel. And then after that, the Lord showed me also the glory, His glory that went and covered Israel. Again, covered the borders of Israel as the heavenly hosts were standing there. His glory that covered the, 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 the borders of the state of Israel, the borders, just the borders to protect Israel. So the Lord, the God of heaven, he that watches Israel, he is aware of what Israel is going through right now. And this is what the Lord says. I myself will now protect my beloved people, the nation of Israel. And it shall be known that Israel is the center of the earth. And these are my covenant people.
on that January 15th. Katika hiyo January 15 the Lord lifted me up. Bwana akaninua juu. And then on my left Alafu katika upande wangu wa kushoto I saw the church being lifted up beautifully being lifted up beautifully Nikaona ni kanisa likinuliwa juu kwa urembo ya kupendeza sana Lifting like this Ukiwainua namna hii And then they turn like this Alafu wakageuka namna hii And when they turn right like this Na wanapogeuka kulia namna hii Right in front here Mbele zangu tu papa hapa This cloud you see here Hili wingu ambalo mwaliona hapa very huge kubwa kabisa kabisa almost the size of half the earth karibu tu linatoshana na nusu ya ulimwengu as they got closer to the cloud kwamba wanapokaribia hilo wingu the cloud opened wingu likafunguka and then they began to enter began to enter alafu wakaanza kuingia from where i was kutokea mahali nalipokuwa i was about 20 to 30 meters to that door of heaven nilikuwa yapata mita 20 ama 30 hivi katika hilo lango la kuingia mbinguni 20 to 30 meters meter Stairs appeared. I saw stairs. He opened my eyes. So I saw stairs. Alifungua macho yangu basi nikaona ngazi. Glorious stairs. Ngazi za utukufu. I saw the glory of the stairs as they stepped their feet on the stairs. Lakini ya utukufu ningeweza kuona utukufu kwenye ngazi wanapoweka miguu yao kwenye ngazi. The stairs are glorious as they step. Basi zile ngazi ni za utukufu sana wanapokanyaga. And then they enter. Alafu wanaingia. Elijah kama unasema wewe ni Elia you must have power to call down fire from heaven lazima uwe na nguvu ya kuidisha moto kutoka mbinguni